She is one third of the CEO dancers and Bryn's Got Talent 2013 semi-finalist. She's worked with the likes of Lil' Kim, Afrobeat artists such as Tiwa Savage, Wizkid and The Banj. She knows how to entertain and work a crowd. Her curves are dazzling, but her moves are equally mind-blowing. Today, I get a little closer with Nobile. Welcome everyone to Any Views and I'm here with the beautiful, well this beautiful lady, but I'm going to let her introduce herself. Ooh. Hey guys, I am Nobile. Hey, see, that's how you pronounce it. That's how you pronounce it. Well, no, my mom calls me Nobile. Nobile. <laughs> but since not everyone can pronounce it, yeah. I'll stick to Nobile. Nobile. Yeah, so it's much it? easier. No. Nobile. It's kind of got a kick of a click to it. Nobile. Say it like you mean it. Nobile. Nobile. Yeah. I'm trying. You're I'm trying. trying. Again, there, again, there. <laughs> I'm going to start off with some fun questions. Cool. Would you rather. Speak fluent in every language in the world Yeah Or be the best in the world at something of your choosing I'm gonna go with something of my choice Yeah Because I, I just think it's best to be good at one thing and do it perfectly Then you can start learning other things mm. Languages are great but I think English can all do for now Yeah Yeah I want to perfect my craft for now <laughs> Yeah Would you rather be with um, Would you rather be without elbows or be without knees? Lord can I use my knees, you know, when I'm dancing? <laughs> so I think the elbows can go. <laughs> Lord, don't take away my elbows, but I prefer my knees. Right, knees. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather change the past mm. or be able to see into the future? Ooh, I think I'd like to see into the future. Yeah. And maybe change a few things in the future if they're not what I want. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay, fair enough. CEO dancers. Tell Ooh, me. CEO dancers. How did the name come about? And was there, I heard there was a lot more of you. Beginning, in the beginning, sorry, originally. Well, um, not in CEO Dancers. Initially, um, Ezne and I, one yeah. of the members of CEO Dancers, were in a group called Coco. Yeah. This was, this was like the first year of uni, okay. and were, there was four of us, and then um, the next year we met Solia, and we decided, you know what, let's rebrand. Mm -hmm. Gosh, we went through a lot of names, some ridiculous names as well, but, mm -hmm. you know, CEO kind of like, it had a nice ring to it. Solia actually came up with it, and kind of just stuck to it. And um, throughout the years, it had more of a meaning. It actually means like being the boss of your craft or kind of owning what you do, being on top of your game. Okay. And I feel like we're kind of done a little bit of that, so yeah. Uh, how long have you girls been together? <laughs> five years. Five years? Yeah, literally five years. Oh. So uh, anniversary this J June, wow, a month ago. Wow. wow. Did you celebrate it? No, because the girls are in Nigeria and I'm here, so oh. in spirit we did. <laughs> <laughs> being yeah. from South Africa, how yes. important is it for you to represent your country? Oh, it's super important right yeah. now. You know, I feel especially in the Afrobeats industry or African entertainment industry, yeah. I feel like Nigeria and Ghana are winning right now. They're <laughs> like, they're on top of their game, you yeah. know. And there's not so much um, Southern African entertainers. So for me, it's important that I put South Africa on the map yeah. in whatever I choose to do. So definitely, Fantastic. definitely, man. What has been your most memorable experience? I think... Being on Britain's Got Talent, yeah. not just being on the show, but like the way the judges kind of took us into under their wing and mm -hmm. like their reception towards us. For me, that was like amazing. It was like mind blowing because we didn't expect that. We went there with just like an open mind, open heart and be like, whatever, we're just doing it just for the bit of exposure. Yeah. But the way they took us on and like they believed in our vision and brand, mm -hmm. like that was amazing. And what the experience has done for our careers, it's like totally just, it changed everything. Mm -hmm. Like from Britain's Got Talent, we've got more international bookings, we've been yeah. traveling. Yeah. So for me, that whole experience has kind of opened up doors and put us on like a different platform to do things that we're doing now individually. Mm -hmm. Like it's, that's been the highlight. Fantastic. Definitely for my life and for my dance career as well. Okay. Yeah. What was it, how was it like even meeting Kanye West? <laughs> how did that even come about? Easy, <laughs> easy. <laughs> I love you by the way, Kanye. <laughs> Legend. Um, it was actually so random, yeah. super random, because I was teaching um, one of my Afrobeats classes in um, for like Opulux, the uh, agent that booked me. Mm -hmm. And um, as I was teaching downstairs, basically one of the women told me okay Kanye's upstairs whatever whatever and I didn't believe it I was like okay psh, please Kanye's in the same building as I am please mm. so I went upstairs with my agent we were having lunch and guess who came to tap me on the shoulder 
and walking by i was like no freaking way i couldn't believe it. i was like oh my god i wasn't screaming or nothing but i was like literally like i couldn't speak and anyway he was just being so lovely and i i got him to kind of record a little something give us ceo dance a shout that. out yeah he was he was so amazing actually so humble would you say like that he's the best person you've ever met not necessarily one of the best, yeah. The best. But there's been so many amazing people I've met. He's definitely up there with one of the best. How was it like performing with Lil' Kim? How did that even come about? <laughs> <laughs> Lil' Kim, oh gosh, you're taking me back to great moments. Um, Lil' Kim was actually another random one, very weird, social yeah. media. It was through Twitter that we got spotted, actually. Mm. Um, we heard that she was looking for dancers and um, like one person recommended our group and like her agent tweeted me and from there literally we've been like conversing on via email mm -hmm. and then from there they booked us and we learned the choreo from her youtube shows mm -hmm. and like literally the next week we performed with her it was so crazy it was all so quick and random amazing though <laughs> at what age did you decide to be become a dancer a dancer mm -hmm. if you could remember well not so much a dancer i decided that i wanted to be an, an entertainer yeah. it was like a dream from when i was a young girl but yeah. I think maybe I was maybe six or eight. I can't remember, but I was super young. Like I've always been like the entertainer of the family. Mm -hmm. Like my aunties would be like, oh, get up and dance, da, 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 when we're in SA. I was like literally the life of the party. Mm -hmm. I was, so it's always been, it's like something that's natural. It was kind of like expected of me to go into kind of this field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've always loved it, always, always. Unicorn. Yeah, What's the unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that. Well, Unicorn is my brand yeah. that I've been working on for the past year. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, Unicorn is a, it's a movement and it's a lifestyle. Yeah. And um, it's all about celebrating people's individuality, people's differences, mm -hmm. um, their intricacy, and celebrating their beauty and originality. Mm -hmm. And um, what it is with Unicorn, um, that I've started right now, actually, I'm starting the BU, BU, BU Unicorn project. Mm -hmm. And I've chosen um, 12 people like following their lifestyle. Mm -hmm and um, capturing their unique moments, like what makes them stand out, whether it be the, their flaws, their beauty, whatever it is that makes them so special and so different. Yeah. And the second part of Unicorn is the brand, which is the business. Yeah. And the first thing that I'm gonna bring up from that is my colored hair collection. Okay. Yeah, and then merchandise and all that stuff can come after. Okay, so you're working purple now? Yes, okay. this one's yeah. called, um, I don't know what to call this one, but um, yeah, we'll find a name for her. <laughs> When did you start experimenting with the colour of your hair anyway? With the hair, like literally, it was like a year and a half ago. Yeah. I started with the green and I thought, okay, I'm being brave, I'm being brave. Yeah. After I was like, green is boring, like, why, why don't I try purple? Why don't I try pink? Why don't mm. I try orange? Like, and I started experimenting and it was fun. It, my unicorn. Me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best place you've ever been to? I would say Monaco. Wow. Monaco, oof. It's just so beautiful. Number one, it's like a dream because it's so expensive there and you can't really live there or visit on my own. So like, well, from my own choice, I couldn't because mm. it's, it's just too bloody expensive. But then obviously because of the job, it's amazing that I got to experience that. Yeah. It was actually for the World Music Awards that the group and I went to Monaco. It was just amazing, incredible. Like literally we're amongst like amazing, inspiring people. Mm. That's been the best place I've ever been to in my who life. You, who was you amongst that? Who could you say? Like, oh Lord. Miley Cyrus was there, um, Mariah Carey was there. It was Hollywood in Monaco. Yeah. And CEO dancers kind of amongst there. <laughs> Choreography, is that something yeah. you do aside from there as well? Do you get quite a lot of bookings as well with that? Um, as a dancer, yes, I book a lot of gigs um, yeah. aside. Like I've just come from Pisa in Italy. Yeah. There was like a, a solo gig. Um, with a couple of friends of mine we go there like um well i've been going there for the past three years to mm -hmm. italy and basically we just entertain it's like light um night entertainment mm -hmm. yeah not in that way oh lord <laughs> not, not. <laughs> what's the next step for novile what's next in the future well currently i'm working on a music project yeah. which is something i'm also so passionate about mm -hmm. so the next step for me is to remain in the entertainment industry yeah. so yeah unicorn and music are my my focus right now yeah. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Oh, kind of connects to um, what I've just said. I think definitely within the entertainment industry. 100%. Yeah, I just want to be a, a, a better performer, a better me in general. Mm -hmm. like, I feel like I'm on a journey of just dis self discovery. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm, on, I'm in a good place where, you know, I can be used to like inspire people and to stay in that platform. I feel like you're doing that already anyway. Oh, <laughs> making me blush. <laughs>
Could you but, see yeah. yourself doing anything else besides being an entertainer? Lord, no, 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 no. no. I mean, things on the side, like I want to do some charity work and stuff, especially yeah. for my hometown where I come from. Mm -hmm. I want to do a lot of things for my people and like help other people as well who have, you know, I, I love helping people, but apart from like job wise, I don't yeah. see myself doing anything else. Maybe writing. I love writing, but I do songwriting, so that's yes. kind of in the oh, same. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I do song. Okay. Got a few hobbies there, don't you? Yeah, I just love, love life. <laughs> <laughs> How do you handle the pressure of like performing, preparing, performing on stage? You know what? It's actually a lot of pressure and it's just horrible. And I, I just don't know how solo people do it by themselves. But mm. because I've kind of had like that sisterhood and having the girls around me, it's kind of been like easier to handle it. Like mm. every time one of us is nervous, like the other two will kind of check the other person and help them out. So, mm. and like we always like have our ritual, like we pray, we stretch, we pray again. I feel like having that sisterhood there has helped me. But aside from that, I feel like I don't know how I handle it, just through prayer really, and yeah. just chilling, chilling. Chill. And I enjoy what I'm yeah. doing, so I always think, wow, they're here to see us, so just mm. chill and enjoy, you know? Fantastic. Yeah. Who or what inspires you? What keeps you going? I think my vision and my dream keeps me going. Yeah. Like, I feel like I've only got a taster of where I could be mm -hmm. and seen what life could be, and I feel like I haven't reached there. So that, like, that vision that I have, like, in my room, I actually have, like, a mood board of things, like, I have places that I want to go to, how I see myself. I have pictures of me on stage doing this yeah. and that, meeting yeah. these people and da da da. So that vision, it keeps me going. And I feel like if I'm not there, I'm not doing the right things. I'm going to keep pushing and pushing. And of course, just life is inspiring. Things that you go through, mm -hmm. I feel like they keep you in check. I feel like, yeah, that's my inspiration. Looking back on things now, yeah. like when you were younger, did you ever think like you would ever be at this point, like meeting so much people and just doing, be able to do this stuff and performing? You know, in a way, yes, because obviously it's like, okay, I, oh my God, I dream to have this, I dream to meet this person, but you never think it's actually going to happen, happen. Yeah. So it's just so crazy how it's happened, but I kind of knew it was going to happen because I'm like a faithful person. I like, I have so much faith. Yeah. Sometimes my, friend, my friends tell me, you dream too much. Like you have so <laughs> much, you, ha you believe too much into that, that's going to happen. And it's so crazy because it has happened. Yeah. So I feel like in a way, yeah, I kind of hoped and had faith and it's crazy how it's happened. Fantastic. Yeah. You should write a book. Yeah, I'm going that's a good idea, right? Ooh, what, what are we gonna call it? I don't know. The autobiography of the unicorn. <laughs> you can just put unicorn. Unicorn, okay. What impact do you want to have on the world? Oh, that's a good question. Um I think I wanna be remembered as a person who literally had dreams and kinda went for it, yeah. regardless of what she's been through or what was against her. She just did it. Yeah. Because she was crazy enough to believe she did it, so she did it. Yeah. If you was to relocate, where would you relocate, relocate to? I'm thinking you want to say America. Without a doubt, LA. Yeah. LA is like <laughs> my heart. When Why I went LA? there... What's so special about LA for you? I don't know. It's just about when I was there, I didn't want to come back here. I literally cried. And I was in my room wow. for six days crying. I was like, why am I here? No. And I never feel like that about anywhere I go. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I kind of had like an attachment to LA. Mm -hmm. And LA is like LA. Come on. It's like the life. It's amazing. Either that or my hometown, South Africa. I wanted to ask that in a bit personal. Okay. Are you single at the moment? Yes, I am indeed. Ah, okay. I so to indeed. all the fellas out there, they can, you know. No, they can't. Oh, they can't. No, oh. you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> no time for that. No, no time, time for that. No. Just work. Yes. I hear that. Definitely. I could definitely second that. We had chasing dreams, honey. I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. Now, you've met the likes of Chris Martin from Coldplay. You've met Usher, yeah. Will yeah. I Am. You've met so many people. Yeah. Would you say, like, those are like reassurance to know that this mm. is, you're on the right career path? Mm -hmm. This is definitely destined for you. I think so, yeah. Because I remember a personal prayer I prayed to God like a couple years ago. I was like, you know what, God? This is what I want to do. I, I want to make sure I live right for you. And, da, 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 yeah. and just make sure that you put me amongst the greats and make sure that my head is amongst those lifted and amongst the great people and connect me with these people. And I feel like it's just been so crazy because for the three of us, Esne, Solid and I, mm -hmm. that's been like our dream and our wishes. And okay. it just feels like it's kind of like reassurance that, yeah, you guys are doing the right thing. You're, yeah. you're on the right path and greater things are, are bound to happen. You've you got to believe as well. Exactly, self-belief, yeah, and faith is important. Fantastic. It's amazing. What's been your hardest challenge to date? I think dealing with artists that just don't get the art and don't get to appreciate your value. Yeah. Like, like I said, when we started out, obviously there was 
not many female dancers in the Afrobeats industry doing it. So yeah. for them, it was just like, ah, you're just a dancer, da 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 da, da. Mm -hmm. and there was not that respect or like value in your art. And mm -hmm. I feel like from from like what we get paid, from how we're treated, mm -hmm. just the whole shebang. It wasn't it wasn't what something that I would say I was happy about. Mm -hmm. But then you know. We had to put our foot down and mm -hmm. certain things into place and I feel like yeah you're getting that recognition now. exactly yeah. yeah yeah and just I feel like artists now appreciate dance working with someone like the band mm -hmm. like it's been incredible like I feel like he he allowed us to do us you yeah. know he allowed us to just be ourselves and to kind of have that presence on stage mm -hmm. and the chemistry is incredible wow. so yeah your life you should write, definitely write a book I'm, <laughs> second, I'm saying that again I should write you should really write a book putting it, in, putting it out there yes <laughs> Jesus you heard Samuel you heard him <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show Literally, thank you it was you. an absolute pleasure Take, you took me through so many stuff you make me want to go to LA now oh you should go definitely you should, should that. thank you so much, thank you so gonna, much for having go, me I'm going to need you to sign the wall of fame yes yes let's do that Hey guys, I am Nobile. Um, it's been great um, spending time with Samuel here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you watch the next one, okay? Mwah.